Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and recently I came across a wonderful question online. What is the difference between strategic and operational risk management? I thought it was such a good question that I would do a separate video on that. And the reason why I feel this is a very good and a very important question is because it is fundamentally wrong. The question is ridiculous. And I will explain why. The first reason why this question is a perfect indication why whoever's asking it is probably not a good risk manager is that he, that question implies that you don't understand the whole idea, the purpose or how risk management works. So I'll give you a few examples. And if you kind of agree with the examples then you will have to realize just how ridiculously silly that question is. And the, and the theme, the idea, if you've been watching any of the videos on Risk Academy channel the idea is that you know that risk management is not about managing risks per se, with a very few exceptions, uh, risks that have to be dealt with by law. Risk management is a decision-making tool. It's, it's a, an algorithm or a, a set of tools designed to help executives, operational managers, staff or us in our day-to-day -day lives make better informed decisions take informed risks because this is what life is all about it's about taking risk to achieve whatever objectives we have in our personal lives or in business and risk management is just about making this risk taking more informed or intelligent where you don't just accept everything because you didn't think about it but you actually have thought and calculated and analyzed some of the issues underlying a particular uh, form of action so if risk management is a decision-making tool at any level then it makes no sense into separating risk management into strategic risk management operational risk management or project risk management or investment risk management or any other form of procurement risk management risk management the idea is exactly the same across all those different types of risk management there's just one risk management and the idea with this risk management is that you take whatever tool set you apply and you integrate it into the decision-making process. Decisions change, the decision-making processes change, and they can be at absolutely any level. They can be at the strategic level, they can be at the operational level, they can be at the project level, at the personal life level. It actually doesn't matter. Risk management is always the same. The same in the way that you integrate it into the decision-making process and you use the information from your risk analysis to make a better informed decision. If, it's a, if it happens to be a strategic decision, then you could technically, I guess, call it a strategic risk management. If it's an operational decision, you could technically call it an operational risk management or a project, but you don't have to. It's absolutely, it's absolutely unnecessary and you don't need to separate it into those different, different types of risk management. Because the, the, the reason why it kind of got me so worked up is that the people asking those questions and the and the 99.9% .9 answering those questions imply that there are different risk management processes. N no, they're not. In, in fact, when I integrated risk management into strategic decision making, I used decision tree scenarios and Monte Carlo simulations on a strategic business model. When I integrated risk management into operational investment decision analysis, I used decision tree scenario analysis and Monte Carlo simulation. Exactly the same, different Excel file. It's identical in principle and idea and application. The only difference is you take a strategic Excel file or you take an operational Excel file or you take a procurement form or tender documentation and integrate risk management into that. The only thing, the only variable that changes is the thing, the document where you integrate risk management into. Uh, the other variable that changes but less frequently is the actual tool that you use. Decision tree scenario analysis, sensitivity analysis, Monte Carlo simulations and different scoring techniques, they apply to 99.9% .9 risk management out there. So I thought it was actually a wonderful question. Now, what is the difference between strategic and operational risk management? Well, the difference is simple. None. There is no difference in terms of risk management. The only difference is the level where you apply it at. You apply it either for a strategic model or you apply it at the operational, at the budget model, at the project level, 
um, model or at the, uh, at the procurement or, or manufacturing or literally any other, any other level. So I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. I'm sure there are exclusions. I'm sure you've come across something else. Um, don't be shy. Share that underneath this video. I'm interested in hearing your thoughts. What are, in your mind, differences between strategic and operational risk management? In my mind, there are none. In fact, strategic and operational risk management do not exist. It's a fairy tale. They don't exist as substances. There's only risk management that needs to be integrated into decision making. And one day you happen to integrate it into strategic decision making. The other day you happen to integrate it into operational strategic decision making. It actually doesn't, doesn't matter. Interested in hearing your thoughts? Thank you for now and goodbye.